the trucks today, if you compare, it's always important to compare apples with apples and not apples with oranges. And if you compare the Euro 6 gas and the Euro 6 tr uh, diesel truck technology, we're actually reducing 10 to 15 percent CO2. And as we speak, we are developing new engines and new vehicles will come into the market in the next one to two years, also using uh, direct injection technology. And we basically look at CO2 emission reductions of 20 percent plus. And very importantly, I mentioned it in the beginning, we also use renewable gas, zero CO2. Carbon neutral mobility is possible with gas um, and significant reductions are possible with gas when blending natural gas with biomethane. And this is a significant story about CO2 reaction potential using, using more gas. Natural gas is the uh, best way to reduce emissions in a cost-effective way compared with other uh, pathways or solutions. So uh, during today in the debate, it was asked, what's the low-hanging fruit? And moving to gas instead of diesel is certainly one of the very lowest hanging fruits. There is, of course, a certain premium, mainly due to the uh, storage of the fuel on board the vehicle and some components. But I think if you take into account a premium on a gas truck of between 20 and 30,000 euros, that can be offset by a much more interesting and lower fuel price, we have a sustainable business case. I think the ball is now uh, lying um, uh, due to the directive on alternative fuels in the field of the member states, the national governments. If we, for example, listen to what the European Commission is saying in terms of future mobility 2030, but now we are, we are discussing already 2050 policy, um, and you hear um, that um, some parts uh, of policymakers, uh, policymakers or directorates envisage that we will sh still use a lion's share of, of oil, of, of also diesel fuel and petrol by 2050. Other colleagues would say we actually work on the low carbon um, um, or zero, even zero carbon economy. How does that fit together? And when I now look at the, at the plans of the member states mentioning that the ball is lying in their field, how is a European vision of uh, reducing or break, reducing oil dependency or breaking oil dependency, but still taking into account more than 80% by 2050, going together with national plans to actually achieve uh, zero carbon mobility um, in the next one or two decades. Something does not fit, and we have to come back to a reasonable uh, level in the discussion and certainly need all solutions, but again, gas is one of the key solutions to reduce emissions.